Welcome back to Modern Salon TV. I'm TJ Hughes. And I'm Trevor Deneen. Last episode, we looked at the hairstyles of today's hottest celebrity moms. Went backstage at American Idol. And got a texture demo from Steve Elias. This episode, we check out this year's Naha's finalists for Hairstylist of the Year Awards. Marvel at the style scene at Catherine Middleton and Prince William's royal wedding. And catch up with Robert Chromians to hear about his wardrobe. The release of the 2011 finalists for the North American Hairstyling Awards already has the industry buzzing. You will be too once you check out these five stylists chosen for Hairstyling of the Year category next. As co-founders of the prestigious competition, Modern Salon Media is thrilled to announce the Hairstylist of the Year finalists for the North American Hairstyling Awards. Eli Mancha, representing Lock and Loaded. Carlo Cintron, Louisville, Texas. Daniel Holzberger, Atlanta, Georgia. Michael Albert, Boston, Massachusetts. Charlie Price, Denver, Colorado. The day finally came upon us, and millions watched Prince William and Catherine Middleton say, I do. Here's Modern Salon TV reporter Kelly Sizing with a full royal report on the dress, the makeup, and of course, the hair. Millions of viewers watched William and Kate say, I will, at Westminster Abbey. We, for one, were transfixed with Kate Middleton's wedding day style. Here's a wrap-up of our coverage. As Modern revealed previously, Kate's stylist for the big day was James Price of Richard Ward Hair and Metro Spa in London, the Middleton family's longtime salon. The salon revealed, Catherine's bridal look is called a demi chignon, an updo style which combines a classic bridal look with the regal couture finish. The focus of the style was Catherine's halo style tiara, set just back from the hairline. We thought it was simple and sophisticated and fit for a princess. Kate did her own makeup. Rumor has it she took lessons from a beauty pro before the big day. The result was soft black liner, rosy cheeks, and a neutral lip for a look that was fresh yet polished. It's been reported that Kate wore Essie's Allure on her nails, a versatile nude pink that's a longtime favorite. The much talked about dress, created by Sarah Burton of Alexander McQueen, was trimmed with English and French Chantilly lace and featured a six foot train. It drew many comparisons to Grace Kelly's lookalike dress, and stylists everywhere gave it a thumbs up. Visit ModernSalon.com to see all of our coverage of the royal wedding. This segment is sponsored by Matrix. Visit MyMatrixFamily.com to kick brass with Wonder Brown. Wonder Brown is a revolutionary color. It has the ability to give you tone and lift in one step. So it's a great cost value for the salon also. Being able to use it on dark hair clients and not have the brass is the amazing effect that Wonder Brown has. Wonder Brown, it's it's brown. Brown. Paul Mitchell's Robert Chromians is always sporting Scottish garb and a feather in his cap. Next, Modern's Maggie Mulhern gets the lowdown on where Robert shops for his fabulous finds. So I'm here visiting Robert Chromians at his San Diego salon, but more importantly, Robert, Everyone wants to know where you shop. Truthfully, I've got a kind of eclectic taste. I get to travel a lot, so I pick up stuff. My hats, which I generally wear, are Philip Tracy, who I love. He designed hats for the late Alexander McQueen. I also have a real fetish for McQueen stuff. I have a lot of stuff, earrings, jackets, very high-end pieces. Um, and I pick up just different things. This is Come de Garçon I have on top. D squared is the rib cage. Jean-Paul Gaultier. Uh, and then just one of a kind. I like a lot of Japanese stuff. But within two to three places, I shop in LA a little bit at Lorenzo's, a lot in London, not so much in New York, it's very conservative, and, and then I just look for those one-of-a-kind pieces and I have a little bit of a budget so I can spring for them and nobody's ever showing up at a party looking like me, that's for sure. Do your clients love it? Well, you know, people think that there's a kind of, there is no me on or off, I'm the same guy all the time, so even when I'm out with my kids, they're like, Dad, why do people look at you, why, you know, what is that about? So. It is not a 
stage persona. I come to work looking like this. I think clients get a treat out of it. I think you know it is a special day when people are coming in and investing their time and energy. So I think every hairdresser should dress up, wear makeup, get your hair done and go to work feeling like you're on stage. Recently, Modern's Allison Shipley saw a student in beauty school using a flat iron and foil in a unique way. And she couldn't resist filming the student demoing this interesting technique. Here's Allison with the demo. To create this unique crimped look, begin by horizontally taking a quarter inch section of hair and place it onto foil. Bend the foil over the section until the hair is covered. Using a tail comb, bend the foils accordion style and press the fold with a flat iron. Each new fold reinforce the previous folds with the iron. When your section has been completely folded base to ends, remove the foil and mist hair with a holding spray. Continue throughout the rest of the head. The Tony and Guy Academy just opened up a new set of doors. This next segment, we take you through a tour of one of the fastest growing schools in the U.S. Check it out. Thank you for having us here in the Costa Mesa, California school. Tell us about the school. It's about 13,000 square feet, uh, built to house about 150 students at its maximum capacity. Clients and students come in the beginning here, and obviously we have a, a fairly elaborate reception area, but one of the key points is our history wall here. And we've got a 40-foot walking wall of history here for Tony and Guy. And it tells the story, a visual story, of what Tony and Guy's gone through in the last 40 years. This is our senior floor right now, and we have about 45 to 50 students out here working. It's broken up into a couple of different floor areas, another area that we call salon ready, meaning the students are just finishing their program and they're ready to go into a salon and work. The emphasis is on their skills to be able to work directly in a salon. It's a computer lab, study lab for the students to go online, access any materials, access Modern Salon TV, access anything that, that happens, happens to be fashion oriented. They can study online, they can uh, access anything that they like. Most students have, are used to going through freshman, sophomore, junior, senior periods of their education. And we do exactly the same here. And we start a class, never more than 20. Even though we can see into the classroom, we can't hear what's going on. So we're visually integrated, but we're physically separated. We've made it very, very easy and simple for the students to progress by creating a locker that is also their trolley. They get their own, and it's as easy as moving their life around. They just take it, roll it to the next area of their program from room to room. This is our color bar. It truly acts like a bar. The students come up, they stand around it. We've got a couple of bartender students who are there to take out what the students are requiring to mix their color. They're, they're learning how to do it, but we've also got some coordination and not overwhelmed from delivery end. Walking into our, our shampoo area, most of our schools have 12 to 16 shampoo bowls, very, very clean across the back, integrated with all their product and supply storage, so that it should look clean and neat all the time. What we're trying to do, again, is create an environment that they would want to emulate in a professional environment. We want them to own their own salons. If they choose not to own a salon, we want them to be very successful salon workers. Thanks for tuning in. Next episode, we go to Orbe's backstage event in Las Vegas. But for now, stick around for some of your favorite industry faces. We'll see you in two weeks. Hi, we're watching Modern Salon TV. Hi, my name is Tom Harris, and we're watching Modern Salon TV. My name is Todd Sweeney. My name is Bob Sweeney. And everybody's watching Modern, Modern Salon, Salon TV. TV.